Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante and welcome to Food Deconstructed. On this episode, we're deconstructing the everyday BLT and reconstructing it into some fun and amazing recipes. And this one doesn't disappoint. We're making a BLT ice cream sandwich. And the components of this recipe are tomato bacon ice cream, arugula thyme sauce, candied bacon, all in between a bacon toasted sweet roll. So let's get started with the ice cream. Now we're gonna take two tomatoes here, take them off the vine, and we're gonna peel them before we throw them in our food processor. Now, you can peel it one of two ways. You can use a serrated peeler, which we're gonna use, or you can boil them in some water and Peel them after they're pulled out and cooled a little bit, but just for the sake of time, we're going to do it with the serrated peeler. Don't try and use a regular peeler at home, otherwise you're going to sit here and fumble around with it for a long period of time, because it will not peel that easy. It'll just come out with a mess. There's one. If I have that before I put it in. Then we'll puree it to a nice, smooth texture. go. Should be nice. Now we're going to add a few other pieces of the puzzle. One and one half cups of cream. Two egg yolks. A few strips of bacon that I've already cooked up nice and crispy. And a little bit of sugar. We need two, about two thirds teaspoon sugar. And a little shot of orange liqueur. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Place the top back on. And we're going to puree this just a little bit on low. Watch it mix up. Shouldn't take much. And once it's done, which looks right about now, yep. I'm going to go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to our ice cream core, and I will be right back. All right, we're going to let that freeze up, and now we're going to do our candied bacon. Now all I'm going to do Take two strips of bacon, some brown sugar. Now it's going to sprinkle the brown sugar over the strips of bacon. So once I sprinkle enough brown sugar over the top of this bacon, I'm going to pop it in the oven at about 400 degrees, roughly about five or 10 minutes or so. Let it crisp up. All right, now I'm going to take this, transfer it over to a baking sheet, pop it in the oven, and I'll be right back. All right, we're going to let that cook up. And we're going to start on our arugula thyme sauce. Now, the reason I'm using the arugula is to kind of stick with the essence of a BLT. Instead of just using regular lettuce, we're gonna use arugula. It's just got a little more flavor to it, a little more peppery, I guess you could say. So we're gonna take our arugula, start that off in the food processor. Take some of our thyme, sugar, and some lemon juice, and some vanilla bean. Now, you can buy the vanilla bean at most specialty stores or cooking stores or things like that. What you want to do is if you get it whole like this, you're going to want to cut it in half and take out the seeds. Now, all you're really going to have to do is just have it. So it goes straight down the middle. When you have it, it's not going to look like your normal seed. You're almost going to see like a black paste. So just take your knife, be careful, and slowly go down the edge of the inside. All right, now once that's all taken out, I'm just gonna throw this in there. Once that's out of the pod, I'm gonna take the paste, put it in there for a little vanilla flavor. Everything's in the processor, and we'll start it up. All right, check on the inside. May have to scrape it off the side a little bit. And once again, go through it. that's all done, I'm going to take it out, place it in our little bowl here, save it for the end. There we go. All 
All right, now that that's all squared away, we're gonna start up on our bacon toasted sweet rolls. Take a serrated knife and just cut through the sweet roll. Stove in. Now, I've already started heating this up off to the side a little bit. What was heating up in my pan here was the rendered bacon fat, and that's what we're gonna toast our sweet rolls in. So once this heats up just a little bit more, I'm gonna place this in here. If you have a pan that fits both, in, both at the same time, that's great. If not, we'll do one side at a time like we're gonna do. You see it start bubbling around the edges a little bit, that's fine. You just wanna make sure you don't get it too hot to where the fat starts popping up towards you, that can get a little dangerous. You'll see it start to, again, bubble up nice and white along the edges. You can take it off and check just to see how the bread's doing. Shouldn't take too long to toast up on both sides. We'll give it some time there. Okay, this last half seems to be nice and brown. All right, now we're gonna move along and I'm gonna go grab my ice cream back out of the freezer. All right, I got my ice cream out of the freezer. It's basically soft serve consistency now. So what I'm gonna end up by doing is taking this out, putting it in my uh, pan here, smoothing it over and then popping it back in the freezer. So when it's all done, I can actually cookie cutter it out in the nice little circles. Also out of the oven, I pulled my candied bacon, which looked nice and crispy. You got the nice caramelized brown sugar over the top, ready for plating later. So I'm gonna step off, put this in my pan, and I'll be right back. All right, we're all ready to plate our BLT ice cream sandwich. I've already cut out my ice cream circles here with a little cookie cutter. So took it out of the freezer, chopped it. So we got our bun toasted in bacon fat. We're gonna take one of our little ice cream circles, put it on the bottom bun. I'm gonna take the arugula thyme sauce, give a little spread over the top bun. And then our candied bacon, which I'm really excited about, right here on the top. Boom. And there we have it. BLT ice cream sandwich. All right, let's see how this goes. You know, I was a little worried about this one. Just because I wasn't sure how to take the tomato and bacon ice cream. But this is really good. The, the sweet bread, or the sweetness of the bread, just adds to this kind of dessert taste, along with the candied bacon, which is amazing. You get pretty much all bacon, most of it is bacon flavor, but the arugula thyme sauce is also sweet, but it also has a little bite from the arugula, almost like a pepperiness to it. And the ice cream just adds more of a cold, flip, kind of a cold texture to that bite. You don't really get a taste too much out of it, but it just kind of creates that ice cream sandwich texture to it. But this is, this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. So there you have it, the BLT ice cream sandwich. Stay tuned next for our BLT soup or the bacon crouton.